The Egghead arc has ended, and now it's time for the Elbaf arc. Or is it? Let's dive into that, and the first hint for Chapter 1, 1124, right after the intro. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any updates. Now, let's get into the content. Chapter 1123 of One Piece marked the end of the Egghead arc. With it, a new arc is on the horizon, the Elbaf arc. But hold on, there might be something in between. We could be looking at a post-Egghead arc, and today's hint might just back that up. This clue comes from the chapter's editor, who said, With all the forces in motion, along with the world changing, what path will they take? Notice that this hint doesn't mention the Straw Hats at all, nor does it talk about Egghead anymore. This clearly indicates that the Egghead arc has indeed concluded, and now it's time for the Elbaf arc. But is it? Before every major arc, there's usually a transition arc, and I believe that's what we're about to see now, something short spanning about four to five chapters. For instance, at the end of Wano, we had four transition chapters showing what was happening in the world. This included an explanation of where Blackbeard had gone at the time. He was in Amazon Lily. This time won't be any different. The journey from the Sunny to the Giant's ship and on to Elbaf could take a few days, during which we might see many things unfold. For example, what's the state of the world now after Vegapunk's revelations? I think we might get some moments with the revolutionaries. Perhaps it's finally their time to shine in a world that's just been shaken to its core. I'm particularly interested in knowing how much Dragon knew about the information Vegapunk brought to light. He's one of the characters whose reaction I'm most curious about, yet we've seen so little of it. More kingdoms are likely to rise in rebellion, now that many have realized an entire nation like Luluzia was wiped out. I'm also betting on new bounties for the Straw Hats. I made a video about this, but I'll share my predictions again for their new bounties. For instance, I believe Luffy's bounty could rise to 4 billion berries. We'll also likely see new bounties for Blackbeard after defeating Law, and for Shanks after taking down Kid. Speaking of Law, we might get some information on where he is right now. Maybe we'll even see Teach arriving at Hachinosu. Could we finally discover the location of the one member of Teach's crew who hasn't been revealed yet? I'm talking about Lafitte. Revolutionaries, new bounties, interactions with Shanks, Blackbeard's movements. There are so many things I expect from the post-Egghead arc. As I said, at least four to five chapters. That's about two months until the Sunny finally reaches Elbaf. But that's my guess. What's yours? What do you want to see in a possible post-Egghead arc? Let me know in the comments. Remember, we'll likely see this unfold in Chapter 1, 1124, with confirmed spoilers dropping next, Tuesday. But until then, we'll probably get a lot of spoiler hints. The full summary will be out next Wednesday, and the chapter scans on Thursday. One Piece Chapter 1124 will officially release on Sunday. So, what are your expectations for Chapter 1124? Drop them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you next time, and thanks for watching.